there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to see you. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, glad to have you back. We're actually going to be playing a little bit of the PS Plus games for the month of September 2017. Today, we are going to be playing out We Are Doomed. We Are Doomed, from what I could see and what I could know and what I've actually played of it so far, it's Super Stardust HD. Super Stardust HD mixed in with a little bit of Space Invaders with, uh, I'm trying to think of any other arena, Asteroids, I suppose would be the best way to describe it. It's a wave of enemies, one after another combat game where you're a small particle that's shooting other particles that all explode. And it's audibly interesting. It's uh, absorbing. It's actually one of those games that'll just kind of hold you uh, for whatever game time that you might have. It's just you can zone out to about 20 waves of the game. And the better you are at it, the longer you'll be playing it, essentially. But uh, it's a live based system. You don't, unlike, it's like, I can't remember, was Super Stardust, you actually had like literally one life. You got hit once, you're dead. I can't remember that. This, it gives you a little bit more leeway, so you have like four or five lives to get hit. And you're going to need them, because the actual gameplay, uh, this, the backdrop system, all the explosions and sights and sounds that you can see are really, really distracting. Like, there's plenty of time whenever this gets properly hectic that I'm just, I just can't tell what is actually on the screen. Like, I can easily find myself getting caught behind the explosions and killed by an enemy I just could not see. Die, bug boys! I don't know if they're bugs or infection or they're actually meant to be aliens, but either way, they all are the same. The only kind of good bug is a dead bug. I learned that from Starship Troopers. Those evil forces from Clandathan. Super beam, ready. Oh, there's the first life gone. Superbeam ran out! Probably could have timed that a little bit better, actually, to be honest. Probably could have, like, done half that level and then did that last all the way through two waves. Eh, hindsight 2020. Yeah, so the way the enemy spawn in, you can't find yourself pretty trapped unless you have your super beam full sword. Which is uh, the only time you can actually have a shield is just as you put on your super beam. Not even whenever you have it active, it's just for the first few seconds of it. It's a good way to get out of a tight clutch. So, you want to save it for whenever. Do you want to get out, or do you want to see whenever you want to sweep and kill as many enemies as possible? <coughs> uh oh! Dragon shots! Ah! Can attack! Oh! That's you, dead. Oh! Dodge! Must dodge! Must dodge! Ow! Yeah, it is taking me longer to get through these levels. I'm not, uh, I'm not as willy nilly using my super beam. I'm trying to think of like how to. Ah! The. Oh! Serious? I almost got hit more than I even thought whenever I was playing, unless it was actually like that targeted shot does more damage to you in the one try. But yeah, I did I did awful. Now that's like half the score I got the first try out of it. So yeah, obviously you can get better at this. Uh, every time you use the super beam, it actually does more damage and doubles the points. So that's probably one of the reasons why I actually didn't have that high of a score. But yeah. We are doomed. It's Super Stardust HD on PlayStation 4 with a mixture of that and Space Invaders, you know? The only thing that actually really annoys me about it, and I brought this up in my first play of it, was that the backdrop, uh, the gradient, that sheet, it really interferes with uh, your visibility whenever like other colored sparks are coming off from objects. You can't tell particulates and visual effects from actual enemies that you have to be avoiding, so you can find yourself easily confused and ruined by it. But uh, yeah, otherwise Vertex Pop made a decent game. It's a song that'll time absorb you whenever you're actually mildly distracted and you just want to chill and chill out. I was saying previously, I would actually been watching audio or listen to audiobooks while playing this game or games of this elk that kind of just pass the time in my head. So yeah, uh, We Are Doomed isn't bad. It's just, it's a bit of a one, one trick pony in its own way. So uh, either wave or endless mode, but outside of that, I'm not going to be playing it for a very long period of time. It's just a nice bonus as part of the experience. 
So if you actually like, like looking at We Are Doomed, they give you a little bit more information about the stuff that's available from PS Plus, like, especially the ones that nobody really talks about normally, then make sure to hit the subscribe button up there in the corner. And if you actually enjoyed it, uh, you didn't enjoy it, oh sorry, you enjoyed it, but you didn't want, don't want to subscribe. If you didn't enjoy it, thumbs down, man. That's the easiest thing to do. It's right there. There's a reason why I interact with it. It uh, gives you a valid way to actually tell me you didn't like it. But if you're actually interested in the show and you didn't want to subscribe, just memorize the name. That's each of skin. I'm on everything. All you have to do is search for it. I'm not trying to hide any way you perform. It's easy to find me. And if you're watching this on YouTube, there'll be a button up there I would really like you to press. And there'll be a recent playlist right here over in the far side with the most recent video that actually came up on the channel. And right here will be a video just for you based on user analytics and the things that you do on YouTube. It'll pick a video that you should like out of the things I have already made. So I highly recommend you go and check that one. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.